In this Facebook tutorial for posting on a business page, I'm going to show you two ways to post on a business page. One that is sort of the typical, I guess, easiest way, but then I also want to show you the best way because there's so many more things you can do to save time as a business owner. All right, let's get into it. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed entrepreneurs attract leads from social media organically for free without ad spend. So if you're looking for more clients and customers and you'd like that for your business, make sure you hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this Facebook tutorial for posting on a business page, I'm going to walk you through two different ways that you can post on your Facebook business page, along with some best practices. Plus, if you are looking to get sales from your Facebook business page that actually doesn't require more posting, there's a certain way you wanna set your page up to get many, many more sales, and I'll tell you how to learn that coming up in a bit, so make sure you keep watching. So to get started, I'm here on my Facebook business page, and if yours looks like this, but you don't actually see a posting box, the first thing you have to do is go up here into the corner and click on account. I'm clicking on my profile picture. See all profiles. This is my personal profile where it says Jerry Potter. I need to switch to my business page so that I can post as it. So I'm going to click that and it will now reload as my business page. And now you'll see the posting box is available. So again, this is the typical way to post, probably the easiest way to post, but there's a couple of key features that are missing when you post this way. But let me show you this way first, and then I'll show you what I think is the better way, just in case this is something that fits your needs. So you can see the typical posting box here. It says, what's on your mind? Underneath, you can click article if you want to write an article, which is kind of like a blog post that lives on Facebook. It's pretty new. So I don't know if they're going to keep this long term or not. You may not see that. Live video if you want to stream live or if you want to publish a photo or video. So, so you can click in the posting box where it says, what's on your mind? And then this is where you would start typing your post. Down here, there are many other things you can have on your post as well. So I'm going to click these three dots where now it says more. And so you can set it up so there's a message button on there for people to message you. You can tag a location with check in. Uh, again, you see some of the ones we saw before, photo, video, live video, article, a feeling, activity, get WhatsApp messages, a GIF. So lots of different options here. But in general, you're going to type your caption. So whatever it is that you want to say. So let's say I was promoting my free training that I do. So I'm going to say, join me to learn how to get endless sales from social media with zero ad spend. And by the way, if this is something that you would like to learn, you can go to 5minutesocialmedia.com slash masterclass because that is a free training that I do. And then I can add an image by clicking down here or a video. So basically it depends on what you wanted in this post. But I can also click this little box here that has the A's on it and some colors. And I can essentially turn it into, uh, I don't know what the official name is for these, a colored background post. So sometimes something like this can stand out in the feed more than an actual image because the text is so big. If I click these four squares on the end, now I can choose from all of these different ones that I can use. So I kind of like this uh, dark green one. And if that's all I wanted, I can go ahead and I can hit post on Facebook and that post will go up right away. A couple of things are missing though. The first one is the ability to be able to schedule your posts ahead of time. And I don't know about you, but as a busy entrepreneur, I wanna be able to schedule my posts ahead of time. Or alternatively, the other thing that is missing is the ability to post Facebook Reels. And I'll show you how to do that in the other way in just a second here. So, but you can do one of these text color posts. You can also click this first box here and it'll go back to a regular text post. If you wanted to add an image or a video and click photo or video there, and you can drag or drop it from your computer or upload it. So I'm gonna click add photos and videos. And I grabbed one off of my hard drive and there it is. So if that's where I wanna have the post, then great. Now you can't do the big text on the colored background and a photo or video, it's either or. So again, that's the easiest, quickest way if you're just sitting in your browser, you're on your Facebook business page to put up a post right now. But as I said, you can't post Facebook Reels that way and you can't schedule your post for another time or day that way. So let me show you the other way. So the other way is to use what's called Meta Business Suite. So to get there, if you have a Facebook business page, you already have Meta Business Suite. To get there, you just go to business.facebook.com. 
and it'll bring you in here. And this is a tool where you can measure your content, your comments, all kinds of different things. We're just gonna focus on posting today because that's what this video is about. But if you're not familiar with this tool, it really does some great things. You'll notice here, here is Facebook and here's Instagram. So I can post to both of these from here. If you have an Instagram creator profile or a business profile, you can do the same thing. So from Meta Business Suite, Meta is the parent company of Facebook and Instagram. I'm here, all I have to do is I hit create post and it's gonna look a little different than it did on the other screen. So the first thing that's gonna come up is it's gonna say post to, and if you have multiple business pages or groups you can publish to from here, uh, Instagram, you wanna check or uncheck so that you have the right thing selected. So I'm just gonna use my main business page here. So next here, you can click on this little drop down. You can add a photo. So if I click upload from desktop, it means I'm gonna choose a file from my computer, whatever you wanted it to be. Add from file manager is another tool you can see. I don't use it because I don't have anything here, but this is where you could go through and actually have some stuff saved on Facebook if you use the same photos or videos over and over again. Next one is add video. And again, you can add from desktop, you can add from file manager, or you can create a video from an image. So this is kind of a cool feature that they've added. So I click create video from image. Then I'm right here, I'm gonna click upload image. So my image is selected here and then you can have a single image with some text and some colored backgrounds and stuff is this first option where it says spotlight an image or showcase a square image. This image I think is already square, but it'll crop yours otherwise. And then you can kind of add some text and stuff over it. So you would choose which of those options you wanted. Once you've selected, hit next, and then you can go through and you can change out these different options. So this will show you if I hit play over here what this video is gonna look like, so it kind of zooms in and out. I can click down here on this second one. I can change the background color. You could put in a hex code if you know your brand colors, but you can change it to whatever color you want here. So I can actually paste in my brand color there, that teal, and then that shows up there. And then I can do the text overlay and I can say whatever I want to say here. You obviously don't have unlimited characters, but whatever you wanna to get to fit there, you can also change the font if you want. And then this third one is where you could actually add background color and a logo. So I'm gonna upload my logo from my computer, and then I can hit play anytime to see what this is gonna look like. So let's watch what we made here. It's nothing spectacular, but there's a little zoom on the photo, the text that I chose, and then the logo pops up there at the end. When you're done, you hit finish video, and it's gonna create that video. So it says here it takes between 30 seconds and two minutes. In the meantime, you can create other parts of your post. So while that's running, let's go ahead and move down here. Next, you would add your text, just like we did when we were posting directly on the page. This little button here where you are uh, can have a colored background to your text is not available because we already added this little video that we made. So if you didn't have anything, you could do the colored background just like we did on the other one. Some of the same features here, add a feeling, add a location, a messenger button. So I've pulled up a post I might actually do. I wanna learn how to get free leads from social media. And so I typed the text over here. I chose the background color that I wanted. Um, one thing that's not great about Business Suite is it tends to be a little slow for my, <laughs> for, you know, for my taste, but it does do some really cool stuff. So once we've got this the way we want it, you got your video, your photo there, whatever it might be. And now down here at the bottom, you can publish now. So if you wanted to publish it right away, you can just hit the word publish. If you wanted to schedule it, then you could choose the date and time that you want it to go up. Or if you wanted to save it as a draft, you can click that and hit save and then you can come back and find this later. So I'm gonna hit save just so we can see how that looks. And it's gonna take us to this content tab, but just so you know how to get here later when you come back. So when you first just go to business.facebook.com, it'll actually show your drafts right here at the top. But otherwise, come over to this menu on the side, click content, and then it will bring up your content here that you've created, including if you click drafts, it should bring up that post that we just made. There it is. So I can click on it, edit it, go in and publish it or schedule it when I'm ready. One more thing I wanna show you because it's separate. If you wanna put up a Facebook Reel, we couldn't do this directly on the page, but we can do it here in Business Suite. So I'm gonna hit Create Reel. And a Reel is vertical video, like a portrait mode, meaning it's taller than it is wide. Click Add Video. So I'm uploading this video that I had on my computer here. If I change my mind, I can click Delete if I want to remove it. And you can actually upload up to three videos and kind of put them together if you have different clips. 
Next is your caption. So I type a caption there, whatever I want it to be, and then that's gonna show up at the bottom of the video. Next is to choose a thumbnail. So it will automatically suggest one for you. I don't know what happens on the back end when they do that. Or you can click choose frame. And now I click choose frame here in blue. And I can actually just drag this thing wherever I want in the video. And by the way, these captions that are here, I added this on the video in another program um, before. You can add captions here in Facebook and we'll show you that in just a second. So I can drag it to where I want. Maybe I want a certain look on my face. Maybe I want certain words on the screen, um, something like that. And then I hit save thumbnail. So now that becomes the thumbnail. The other option you can do is you wanna create a custom thumbnail in something like Canva, you can actually just upload a custom thumbnail there. Okay, so that's what we've done so far to create this reel. Down here at the bottom, you see Create, Edit, Share. And so we're on the Create tab. I'm gonna hit this blue Next button. It's gonna take us to the Edit tab. Now, right here in Meta Business Suite, you can go through and you can add audio, you can add music, you can crop, you can add text to on the screen, for example. So I can say, watch this video. And as I type it over here on the left, it's showing up over here on the right. So I know what it's gonna look like, right? I can change the text color. I can come down here, change the background color, different things like that. I can come over here and click on it and I can move it wherever I want, which is nice. If I want it to be bigger, then I change the font size so that it's bigger. Oh, that's ugly, but you get the idea. And if you don't want any text, you can delete it and take it off of there. So um, audio, you can go through, you can play these different tracks and add them to your video if you want to. Crop is where if your video is the wrong size, you can go in and you can change the way that it looks. I recommend using a vertical video, this shape, so that you don't have to worry about that because the cropping doesn't always work that well. So, and then trim, if your video is too long, if you have a video that's longer than 60 seconds, which is the max for a Facebook reel, then all you have to do is uh, come down here and drag these and you can shorten the video. Or if you had some time at the beginning that you messed up or at the end, then you can trim it that way. So you can do a lot of stuff in here, which is nice. This says enhance, automatically move background noise and equalize the audio. You can turn that on. You can choose how much you want it to do that. I try and just record with good audio because sometimes these digital audio processors actually make them sound really worse and will make you sound like a robot, so. So that's the edit tab. Then we hit the blue next button again at the bottom. And then this is similar again, you can share now. It says at the top and you just hit the blue share button at the bottom and it'll go up right away. You can click schedule and then you can choose a date or a time or you can do the save as draft as well. And then this is a little toggle here. It says allow Facebook real remixing. This means somebody can take part of your video and make their own video out of it. So if you wanna turn that off, you can turn that off. I've always left this on. Um, because it could help you reach a lot of new people. But if you're worried that the wrong people might react or they may make a video or that's not good or whatever it might be, then you can always have that turned off. And then again, you can share now, schedule, or save as draft. So which will you use? Posting directly on the business page or Meta Business Suite? There's a lot more cool tools, including the ability to schedule in Business Suite. So let me know in the comments which one you are most likely to use for your business. And if you want more sales for your business, I strongly encourage you to check out our Profitable Pages and Profiles workshop. I've studied a lot of human psychology, and when someone lands on your page, they could just leave and never work with you. Or they could become your client or customer much, much faster if you include four key things. And I would love to have you check these out and learn them. You can just go to profitablepage.com, profitablepage.com. We've included that link in the description as well. It's a really affordable workshop that can make a massive difference for your business page. So grab it now at profitablepage.com. I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know by giving this video a like or leaving a comment. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.